Is it on its way to you already? It is. I actually got confirmation that it was sent. So I am super excited about this. I like the fact that this kit is kind of a, it, it transforms with the figure. So I really like that aspect yeah. of it. That was like experimented on. So I could see this doing, being the same thing. Yeah, this is, this is subject two. <laughs> When you first started, did you say spraying? Then it says spray function simulates beast rage and mechanical heat dissipation mode. <laughs> Don't you put this negativity out in the world, James. <laughs> Welcome back, BBC fans. As always, I am Bobby the Bot. And I am James the Con. And before we get started, we hope that everyone had a very, very happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate Thanksgiving in the States here. Um, thank you for coming back and joining us. We have a lot of news to jump into, but first we want to give a shout out to our official sponsor and that is The Chosen Prime. And, yes. And with so, that, we'll go ahead and jump into it. Yeah, but um, you mentioned it's Thanksgiving, so that means it's Black Friday. So why don't we show off the Black Friday deals Chosen's Prime's doing? Um, it's actually kind of cool. It is like a choose your own adventure um, <laughs> type of deal with the um, Black Friday. So you could get the different discounts with how much you spend. Um, I'm still looking, but I'm sure I'll find something. And I think Bobby's going to go for that 22% savings knowing him. I don't know what you're talking about. Um... <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do to myself right now. So, I will be looking at this though and seeing what I may be, what goodies I might be able to pick up. Yeah, go go check it out, guys, if you haven't. Um, it's a pretty cool sale. All right, let's get into it. And the first thing we have is some TFCon LA news and Dan Gilvezin. That doesn't sound right, but that looks like how it's pronounced. Um, is going to be at TFCon LA. Um, and he is the voice of Bumblebee, Goldbug, Hotspot, Snapdragon, all from G1. So I think your dream is coming true, Bobby. I mean, the band is definitely getting back together so far. It looks like we're definitely getting more Autobots from the G1, mm -hmm. which I'm kind of okay with. But I, I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would m meet him for Snapdragon. <laughs> Definitely not Bumblebee, though. But you like um, Hotspot, though. I do like Hotspot. I, yes, you are correct. And Goldbug's not bad either. Yeah. So Goldbug's it's just cool. Bumblebee. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's move on to some leaks. And I don't, this technically isn't a leak, but it is. It's artwork that was leaked for an unproduced figure, but I thought we should still talk about it because it's making the rounds. And that is this legacy picture of Straxis, which you could see with that like mono eye. Um, and then this was like the concept where it was Straxis without his like face mask. And then he gets like deconstructed and the face mask turns into he's like in the chest and he's a frankenstein monster didn't make much sense to me i think straxis is a really cool design but this did not do it so i'm very glad that hasbro dodged the bullet and decided not to put this through um because this wouldn't make me happy as a straxis fan and it sure as hell would not make bobby happy as a hasbro fan yeah i'm, I'm i i'm Honestly, not familiar with the character, but comics like only. It. That's probably why that makes yeah. perfect sense. I do like the original body. That that picture actually looks really cool. Um, the after accident. Oh, gee whiz, I, I good. Yeah, I'm 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 good. Um, the picture on the far left though that that does look kind of cool. I wouldn't have known what it was, but that does look kind of cool. And. Uh, yeah, it probably would not have transitioned into something pretty cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I would love a Straxis just because I think he's a cool design, but this ain't it. Yeah. All right, let's get into what's just announced. And the first thing is some upgrade sets. 
And this is the DNA Designs DK49 upgrade set for Nightbird, Battle Trap, and Scourge. What did they call them in the movies? Did they have a faction? I know they had a faction label. God, you're, you're asking me to remember something from the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, you could get all three of them with upgraded swords. So they look decent on this Nightbird. And the wings are still way too tiny. Um, it does not save this figure. I don't think you can save this figure. I When I saw this, I was wondering if those wings were going to be big enough for you. And I... Well, I mean, even if the, the wings were perfect, the rest of the figure is, <laughs> in my opinion, let me preface this, such trash that I wouldn't be picking it up. The car mode looks great. I'll give it to Hasbro there. But the, the, the actual figure looks horrible. In my opinion, I'm sure people out there love it. I like the fact that this kit is kind of a, it, it transforms with the figure. So I really like that aspect yeah. of it. Yeah. That looked really good. The car, the car does look good on this. I, I didn't like the wings. Actually, <laughs> it made me think more of Tinkerbell again. You know, just the they're still too small. Just the, I felt like they were like, like if it was human, they were like three feet out. And I just no, they're, they're, they'd be like 10, 15 feet. You know, in yeah. robot size. But you get, you get what I'm saying, right? I don't I think know. the swords look good. Uh, yeah. I like how the sto swords store as well. But I don't actually remember what this character looked like in the movie. That's how what, how much I thought about the movie. So I remember she looked really cool, and I'm very sad that they didn't translate into toys. You also get some guns for Battle Trap and a like swinging mace that you can pose for him as well. So that's pretty cool. I like those weapons. It's, that was a yeah. good set. It looks really good in this picture. If you remember, I was actually excited for this figure. And then I bet you it's still there. That kibble that goes off the elbow killed it. And then I saw some reviews, which were not the best. So you were you were sad day. This figure. What you were loving this figure? I was. I was like, oh, here we go. We're going on a in a good direction. And, and I got my hopes up for nothing. <laughs> and then you have the final thing, which is Scourge. And there's the original. And then there's the DK49 upgrades. And then if you get DK46, you can make a final Scourge, which is a little, um, I don't know, scummy, kind of, that they <laughs> made a whole kit for Scourge. And then they're like, well, now you have to buy this kit if you just want Scourge to finish them off. Because it does look actually really nice, that final both kits combined look. It does. I think this is great if you bought i mean like i would i would really like this if i liked the movie characters and i had all three movie characters and i got this kit and it was like something for all of them i was like really excited about that and if i liked scourge i probably would have invested in the 46 probably beforehand yeah so i would have been like oh cool oh they're throwing in something extra for scourge that's really cool being that i didn't buy this or any of these figures i don't know like um uh, i don't know if i would have you know maybe favored one of, over the other from this kit probably the battle trap yeah i mean this makes this a probably a hundred dollar figure the final one. Oh yeah which is not worth it to me but let us know if you guys want a hundred dollar rotv scourge <laughs> Well, or if you bought the 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 forty nine, the DK forty nine, or if you plan on, or excuse me, forty six, or if you plan on picking up this DK forty nine set, yeah, let us know. All right, let's move over to greener pastures, I guess slightly, <laughs> and we've got MB twenty fives, which is their wing saber prototype from Fans Hobbies. So this goes with their Energon Optimus Prime. And Bobby, what do you think of it? I don't know. That's that's better than I was expecting from you. Gonna be honest. <laughs> and, and I say I don't know because I don't know what I'm looking at. I, like I remember the name. I don't re I don't remember the character. So it's not ringing any bells for me. And I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I don't like it. I have to look at the character and see what the character, it, who the character is, and what the character looks like. So 
I will probably do that. But so far, it looks very blocky. Like, yes. chunky. It looks very, very chunky, which I don't typically so, like that much, I don't think. Oh, I thought you liked that. You're into G1. Um, so with this, this is very accurate to the toy. Okay. The toy had zero articulation, which oh, is why okay. he's so chunky. Um, here it is in another pose and the alt mode. I don't like this. I didn't pick up the energy on Optimus Prime, even though I had fun with it. This, if this was your favorite figure, like I know a lot of people out there really like this, I'm very happy for you. Um, but I will wait till a fun repaint, hopefully <laughs> at a TFCon. Um, and then maybe I'll pick it up. But as far as normal colors, no. I mean, maybe if they do the Energon um, Prime and Nemesis colors and then come out with this in a black repaint, then I'll pick it up. But I ain't picking it up just for Optimus himself. Yeah, so I just brought up a picture of Wing Saber and... The red and white at, and gold and stuff. Even looking at it, I do not remember this figure at all. And I am going to be passing on this because I also pa passed on the Energon Optimus Prime. So this is a easier pass for me. Yep. I agree. And that alt mode is very non-aerodynamic. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it looks like a... It's like a... a um, yeah, like a, like a stealth jet thing, but with a lot more pieces. Anyways, yeah. let us know if you plan on picking this up in the comments below. I'm good. Next, we've got H49EX Hammond. So this is the Wheeljack and New Age doing New Age things. It's coming out with one right after the other one came out. That's an upgraded version. Um, I think this might be a Toy Deco. I could be wrong. I don't know if he looked like this in the tune or not. Um, but it looks really nice. Gotta say, I don't need it because it is a Legends figure. Um, but it does look, it, it looks nice. It looks very good. Colors, I love I love the colors. I like how they have it angled so you can't see how fat that chest is. But I also <laughs> all the pictures were like that except for like one or two. <laughs> but what's really funny is like they're like, hey, let's try to make it look like it fits. So we're gonna spread his legs out as well. So he looks like so it looks like it's all proportioned. Um I do I really like these colors. I won't be picking this up though. I have a question. So it does it have a sixth wheel six wheels what no. is that little circle next that, to I, the back wheel um is that was that like on the actual car not that i or know is of. That... I, I i was looking at it wondering if it was the back right wheel the back like the back passenger side and it's just showing that from this view because i don't know what that is otherwise okay yeah okay. just 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 curiosity yeah. yeah no it didn't have the only only car that had six wheels was drag strip from the stunt concept yeah. that i can think of and and roller that'd be a that'd be a training wheel anyways <laughs> um <laughs> next we've got generation select super megatron height increasing set accessory set so this is actually really cool i liked this megatron i didn't pick him up at the time um i like the design he's unique he's interesting um, but I thought the proportions were wrong. So this does fix that. I, I think this is a worthy um, upgrade set. Uh, if I had this, I would be picking it up. I think this makes it look a lot better. It it makes the legs, the, the thighs proportionate with the bot. And it looks really clean with this on here. I, I like it. I didn't pick this up either. And now you can go ahead and pick it up, James. Uh, not for the aftermarket prices. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we've got Bioways, Megatron, and these are promotional images. So just like they did that Prime, they did like three or four of those Primes. So here is the Megatron. You have, you're speechless. You'd like I'm, it that much. For, I actually... The alt mode doesn't look as doesn't look bad to me. I don't know what the hell it is, but it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe it's the gold. Maybe it's the big treads. I don't know what it is. It does look like like a beetle is sitting on some treads. 
<laughs> well, a scarab beetle. He's scarab. in Egypt. You know, yeah. kind of appropriate. Now I want one that's like in like gold with black and like the teal. You know, like that Egyptian teal. Okay. I think that would be really cool. Now, now you got me thinking about repaints that I won't have time to do. <laughs> but I don't like this Megatron. I don't. I don't like the, the look of this Megatron. So. Uh, I, I am going to be out on this, but I just have questions that I really don't want answers to because I'm not picking it up. But <laughs> I, I isn't, just isn't wonder where they got this idea from. Isn't that the story of our lives? Um, I don't hate this. If it's like 20 bucks, like <laughs> their Optimus Primes, I might pick. Well, their Optimus Primes were like $19.99 or $24.99. They were yeah. cheap. If this is that same price... I might pick it up because I did have the original version of this toy back when I was a kid um, or young adult, whatever. Um, and I liked it. Uh, and this does look noticeably better than that one. But with it looking better, it loses its charm. I had that figure as like a, a mutated, deformed um, <laughs> character of Unicron that was like experimented on. So I could see this doing being the same thing. Yeah, this is this is subject two. <laughs> subject zero, even. Yeah, you know. It, the first All one right. was, was worse, and then they came up with this one, and it looks better, but it's still a mess. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I'll pick it up. Okay, let's get into some updates. First one is one that I think Bobby is very excited for, and that's the Black or Acne Tigatron 2-pack. I've got to say, again, I love this packaging. This is really cool packaging, really reminiscent of the old Japanese packaging, so I love it. Um, here they are. Are you going to be picking this up? Not even with your money. <laughs> I think it looks better than the original releases. I mean, that's possible, but yeah, I no, I'm, no, I'm, I don't like it at all. I Me mean, and honestly, what's funny about this? Is that I'm looking in the background and I see the kibble from the train bot in the back behind Black Arachnia. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a, yeah. like what I saw. Yeah, these pictures are from the TFW 2005 board member Pixel Master. So I'm sure he's having a fun time with that Raiden. Yeah, no. Let I, us know I, if you watch this how, how, how you like those figures. Yeah, I... They, I think these things look pretty good. I mean, they, that's a lot of tiger stripes. For, that is a lot of tiger stripes. For a Hasbro, Haztac figure. And that Black Arachnia, the colors are really good on it. Um, but I already have both of these figures in their original releases, so I'm not going to be picking these up. Um, do you have both of these figures? I know you have Black Arachnia. That's bad that I have to look at my shelf. Um, I don't know. I I may or may, I don't know. I don't remember. All right. Well, either yeah. which way, I, if you don't have that Tigertron, I think you should get it because it is a very good mold. It's actually pretty fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. I doubt if I if I have it, great. If I don't have it, great. <laughs> well, no, you could probably. I, I I I saw it at Ross for like nine ninety nine. I think I do so have. I think I more than likely I do have both of them. It it's it's a it's a fun mold. I yeah, I, I do more than actually likely I like have it. both of them. So I just don't remember, which is bad. And it's part of the course. Next, we've got Yolo Parks IES Series Optimus Primal, the deluxe version. They got more updates. So I guess the um the deluxe version is going to have. Faster spray frequency combined with rapid breathing mode, enhancing the lifelike quality of the mechanical beast. And Spring. brand new jungle base. And I'm not going to read it because you can see what it looks like right there. Which the jungle base does look really cool. But I guess it's going to have a bionic breathing function. So it's like breathing on your desk. And then the it's going to have... Normal and rapid breathing modes with corresponding light functions. When you first started, did you say spraying? Then it says spray function simulates beast rage and mechanical heat dissipation mode. 
And that's word for word what they said. So I think it's going to have the, you know, how the steam comes out. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that's know, what's going to come out. Okay. Cause I'm like, where is he spraying from? <laughs> yeah. Not for this show, Bobby. We're PG. I, I, hey, you know, so I've, I've been to the zoo and I've seen, you know, gorillas <laughs> do some things and I don't know, primal might primal. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. I just need to make sure that, you know, kids aren't getting the surprise from him spraying. I don't think there's one kid that's going to be able to buy this thing. I don't know. It might be, a, you know, there's some, some parents who buy stuff for their kids. And, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they, okay. I just know, like, when I go have hibachi, for instance, if I go to a hibachi restaurant, it seems like the chefs always have the little pea man when they're, and his pants go down and he sprays the water out. And so that, that's the first thing that came to mind when you said sprain. So I'm sorry. That's where I went to my last hibachi restaurant experience. Okay. Well, yeah. you need to get this to get him to go with urine magnets then. Let's <laughs> move on. We've got Wang Kai Toys, WTO2, head carving design update. So they're showing off the head. If you remember, this is the... Um, I forgot flame toys i think optimus prime that somebody actually made transform which is actually really cool um and i know you were interested in it when we showed this off um and then they also showed off that they're going to be doing like a god bomber armor so that's like what's grayed out over there which does look cool from the silhouette i mean you know it's looks cool from what we can see um and here is the trailer mode so it can actually attach and it looks like they're going to be doing like a ROTF jet fire as well. That thing looks crazy. I kind of like it. You're going to be getting. Oh wow! Look at him. He's going. Uh, That's your first step to getting Studio Series movie toys, Bobby. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you wish that evil on me? <laughs> no, I, I kind of like it. I don't. It, it has a little bit of Star Wars esque to 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 me. The jet, jet. It does. It that's does. that's kind of what I'm I'm seeing. Again, these are sketches, so who knows what it's gonna look like. But I well, did you like. You know that. that's armor, right? That's armor yeah, yeah, for Prime. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just making sure. But that's like the picture above. It just kind of looks like yeah, like you know, kind of like a little jet, you know. So I don't know. I mean, it might be something I look at. I have to see again, color pictures and things. But I did like the, the way that Prime looked. Well, you'll be able to pre-order that in December. So look forward to that. Let me see what the price is on that. Well, knowing a lot of stores, you won't know the price until the week before it comes out. Of course. <laughs> Next, we've got Transmittal 2 Dinobot 2. They showed off that one prototype that we looked at the last time, the Beast Mode. And it looks great. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It looks like the original toy. And they have a video I wasn't able to put it in, and it is really long. So hopefully there's a bendy wire in that tail. Um, and yeah, I, I'll, th this is already bought. Yeah, I don't... I have to see it finished. I don't like the way this looks. I don't blame you. I can <laughs> see it finished because I had this toy as a kid. So... To me, yeah. this will always be Dinobot. The G1 Dinobots pale in comparison in my eyes to this because this is always my Dinobot that I grew up with. I was very confused when they said that there were five Dinobots. I'm like, no, there's one. Yeah, so, I was. Confused. I am very excited <laughs> to get this. You were confused the other way, right? I was just like, I was like, this is this is lame. We're gonna call this one dinosaur Dinobot. Like, that's stupid. And then I'm like, well, why are that's lame? You're calling five people Dinobot. It's one of them. Yeah. So um, there's probably some lore implication that he named himself after that group or something, because you know it's in the future. But um, regardless, this thing looks like it's going to be amazing, and I will be buying it. And hopefully, they'll get a Rapticon out of this as well. Yeah. So far, I'm out. Yeah, you say that now until you see it in in, in color. Just hey. like you got that Transart Megatron and the RC and the 
tarantulas and the rat trap and pack rat. I didn't. I said I didn't say I was out on the rat <laughs> or on the tarantula. You you kind you kind of did. No, I like the rat. I, I like the rat. That, you, like yes, the you, you like that one. The tarantulas, I think you said you were out on. I think the tarantulas. When you saw the prototype tarantula. pictures like this. Yeah, and I probably said I was out on because, yeah, this doesn't so, look. Just wait for it till it's in color. We'll see. Yeah. That's what I said so right. far. So far. So far. Yeah. I don't blame you. That thing looked like a piece of soap. So. It, yeah. <laughs> really did. It's probably a wax one. Don't they do them in wax? I think they I do. I think so. Next. So we already talked about this, but I did want to say the Bingo Toy Spider Girl is out in Asia, still coming soon. But the gold faces are confirmed to be part of the set. It is not a custom piece. Hallelujah. And um, I'm very excited to get this thing in. We've already talked it to death, so I don't really have much else to say. Um, are you excited to be picking this up too? Excited might be... A little overboard i'm happy to be getting this this will be another figure that will be added to my collection this isn't something i was anticipating as much as you of course yes the moment we saw those first shots i knew i was gonna get it and i think they were like not appropriate for our channel shots <laughs> not at all it was um yeah lots yeah. of uh you, yeah. you got you got you got to appeal to a certain crowd somehow. Um, <laughs> and then this is all you. Um, this is New Age Toys H57 EX Frayer, and this is the Diaclone, I think, version. So this is coming out soon. It looks really nice. I wish it was bigger because I probably would be picking this up. Um, I know you're picking up the green and blue one. Are you picking up this one as well? I am not picking up this one. Oh. Oh, so do, do you, you have the fans toys version of this color, right? I do. Yeah. I think this head looks so much better though. Yeah. This I have the toy version of this head. Yeah. You were actually with me when I picked up the red swoop. That's what I thought. That's what I remembered. Yeah. Yes. Did with, it. Um, with the broken leg. <laughs> I was just going to say. Yep. No. Okay. Well, yeah. So, no, I'm not going to get this one. Well, you could go ahead and buy this one, Bobby, and have one without a broken leg. That is true. Is and the box, I think you should buy this just for that box. I, 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 think box collector. I think it's cool that he can sit with his leg crossed like that. That's really cool. Yeah. But yeah. no, I will not be buying this one. I already don't know what to do with my legend boxes as it is. And I, and I don't have that many of them. So I'm good. I will be passing on this one. Stay tuned, guys. Um, <laughs> next, we've got Dreamstar Studio, Studio, Dreamstar Studios, Dreamstar Toys, whatever they're called. Um, top Raid. So look at all those figures about Raiden to crumble. <laughs> Don't you put this negativity out in the world, James. This is supposed to be There, I knocked. I knocked for you. <laughs> this is all the improved version 4.0. They're gonna four point oh. They're all gonna come correct with no issues, and they are going to then uh, respond to all the stores that have people waiting for replacement parts if they haven't already. Thank you. That was Amen. a prayer, actually, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, are you excited for this guy? I I am excited again about as excited well maybe a little bit more excited than the spider girl just because i'm in for three of the figures already i want to see what it looks like combined and the faster that i get this one means the faster that the fifth one will come out and hopefully the faster we get replacement parts and we can figure finalize this set and i can see it what it looks like on the shelf next to my kang toys uh Predator king so. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You're not excited for the figure. You're excited to finish the set already. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right, let's move on to what's recently released, and let's just get down to it and not even beat it around the bush. This thing is out. Um, is it on its way to you already? It is. I actually got confirmation that it was sent. So I am so super excited about this 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 might be my figure of the year 
a Legends figure is going to be his figure of the year. Told you you were a Legends collector. Hey, 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 hey. Character, character, character. No, it's, that, it's character thing. It's character doesn't thing. matter. Character. Legends figure is still your figure of the year. Character thing. I don't have it in hand. I'm just thinking of everything that it comes with and everything that it does. But we shall see. But this is some. So far, this might be the figure that I've anticipated the most. That is actually has the release date that I'm getting this year. So this is doing big things. Yeah, well, in a I'm small glad package, you like I it. Guess. <laughs> I know personally, it's okay. It's not my favorite, um, and it's too small, honestly. And I know people were saying it's not small, but it's not. They somebody I think in the comments said it was 17 inches. It's not 17 inches tall. It's 17 inches to the top of the black guns. Oh God! So <laughs> it's like 15 inches tall, which is the same size as my utopia so from to the top of the head i think again looking at those pictures so it's not an upgrade for me even if i made metro titan so i'd be out um now let's get some of those ko upsizing people to go ahead and make this like mm, 10 inches taller and then maybe you'll have my money well you make me laugh with that because you always say that you don't need a big figure because you don't have anywhere to put it now they come out with a figure that's because kind of... because I wanted to upgrade. This wouldn't be an upgrade to Utopia. I get that. It's it's if, if it's ten it's inches same. taller, where are you going to put it at? I don't know, but I'll find a place because I want a Metro Titan. Okay. I mean, it's just like you know when I get that tidal wave from Hasbro, I don't really got nowhere to put that, but I'll figure out a place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, I just made room for this. Uh, yesterday, uh, on yeah, yesterday, I just made room for this. I think you should just keep it in city mode. I don't know with all the lights all on the and lights. stuff. Yeah. I think that's where it should live in your collection. Yeah, I did. I did just make room for for it though, so I'm happy. Oh, Are you gonna deny it the responsibility, the 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 um, the the quality of life to not be with these legends combiners though? Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's look deep. how good they look though, Bobby. You you they, said a legends figure is gonna be your um figure of the year, so why don't you get these? You know, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Legends figures to be your second, third, and fourth no, figures no, of the year. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Perfectly fine. <laughs> don't need it. Nope. Not gonna be able to do it. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm. The the Bruticus does look better with Vortex on his arm <laughs> than what we saw before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the Bruticus looks good. Probably the best one out of the bunch. I just I don't like, like that chest piece. I like all three of them actually. I mean, honestly, if I, you know, if if money wasn't an option and space wasn't an option, I would, you know, be more than a dabbler in legends, but space and money you know, kind of deter that hab that hobby from taking shape. Well, I think you should pick them up anyways. <laughs> Next, let's get into Pengo Toys. PT-03B Lion Face Commander Leo Convoy Black Version, which I'm assuming is something you're going to tell me that I need to pick up, right? It is definitely something you need to pick up. And you're going to tell me it's too small, so you're not picking it up. No, no. See, this is where you think you have me pegged. No, I'm not. This is only 30 bucks. Still not picking it up because I already spent $35 on the official Hasbro version. If this one came out first, I would have picked this one up instead. I mean, you can have one in bot mode and one in lion mode. Yeah, this one definitely would not be in lion mode because I don't like how this looks. So you can have this one in bot mode and you can have the other one in lion <laughs> mode. There no, you go. See, I'm not like you. Honestly, when I saw it was only 30 bucks and not like 45 like that red lion, I was like, oh, that's not bad. See, but I don't do need it. it. But I don't need it. <laughs> not, you don't need any of these, truth uh, be told. No, uh, uh, but I don't know. I don't know about that. This is all this is all for the, the sake of loving figures and transformers. So you should do it. Yeah, I'm okay. It looks good though. I mean, I just don't need it in my collection. I have two Nemesis Leo Primes. Three. Three actually. So I'm good. Especially on a KO one. I'm I'm good. Hey, 
I will get it on a, when, when I find that blue version if they ever come out with that, which it looks like they're not gonna. But if I, <laughs> that's the one color I would buy without a the two pack uh, without a thought. Yeah, I'm. I'm but, and out. the pink car as well. I would buy both of those, and both of them are very limited exclusives. It looks like. I have a feeling you'll be able to get your hands on them. Hopefully. Yeah. But hope. Let's just talk and then to you can people. get your green Omega Supreme too. Yeah, I'll have to show you what I've done with my Omega Supreme. Z. <laughs> yes, I want to see all of those. But let's move on to some. I don't think they're um, reissues. I think they're just new runs of figures. So if you're still looking for these figures, go pick them up. The first thing, we've got Metagate's G01 Haiku Drift. I had to put the helicopter mode in. Um, it's a decent looking bot, especially if you like the movie toys. I think it's really good if you're really into the movie toys. This looks like the thing that was in the um, movie. Looks like the character. Um, but I'm not, so I'm not picking this up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not picking this up uh, either. Nope, not going to be able to do it. I like... I really like the light blue around the armor, though. I like I the think light that blue. Was really nice. I hate that we agree. I do like the light blue. It's almost like it's it's like highlighted around the yes. armor. So I really do like that. Yeah. And on the rim, uh, I see that on the back rim back there too. So yes, it I do is. Like that. I do like that. Next, um, we've got Transart's BWM06 Tyrannosaurus, which is obviously the Megatron, which I think you picked up too. I did. This is also in the running for my figure of the year. Um, wow. This, I mean, it's better than almost anything that I picked up quality wise. So. Wow. Huh. Yeah, I love I, it. I need to start making my list really fast because the days are coming down and I've totally. I forgot what you ordered. I forgot everything. I've... Well, I, I've I've been thinking since the beginning, so I I think I have a list. So we'll see. But um, that aside, stay tuned for that. Um, this is a very good figure. It's very well built. It looks great in both modes. It's easy to transform. I would highly recommend it. The tail thing kind of annoys me that you have to switch out the tails between modes. But other than that, I really like this thing. It looks like it stepped out of my childhood, which I really like. I had two or three of these because they kept breaking on me. And, and you I forgot about the third there. mode with the, the roller skates. I like that mode too. I've never considered that a third mode. It just seems like add-on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I see where you're going. I, I, I like it. I like that they added the stickers for the eyes, you know? Since they, yeah. Yeah, since they messed up <laughs> with their stuff. But I think this looks great, and I'll be... um, This is up there for me this year. Wow. I think they lost me with this one when they didn't do the electronics in the eyes, so... but See, yeah, I don't care a, about that. That's a whole Because I don't put batteries in my toys because they degrade, and they corrode and stuff over time. Oh, yeah. You got to be careful. Um, but with that being said, I, I did like this figure, so... Let us know what you guys think about this figure. Anybody yeah. picked it up as well? Let us know. Yeah. And let us know why it looks more imposing than most of the Megatrons out there. Because he's built. Megatron looks skinny. That MP56 or 36. 36. That guy looks like a little nerd. Compared to this. Take him out. Yeah, he will take him out. He won. Megatron will take him out in a heartbeat. Well, I mean, that's not fair because this guy's smaller than him because G1 Megatron destroyed the Energon flow, so everybody had to get smaller. I don't care what it is, G1. If But if they were toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I don't think, I don't. G1 yeah, Megatron. I think it would be, G1 I, you know, I do have to agree with you because that guy is actually a um, military person while this is just a gangster guy that stole a piece of artifact and went to another thing, which is why I like him better. He has, you know, more to him, but... We'll debate on who's the better Megatron later because I don't think it's either of these. Um, okay. Let's get to the last one. This is out. Fans, Hobby, Scourge, and Optimus Prime. Trailers. So go pick them up if you need them. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I'm going to get that Scourge. <sighs> decisions, decisions. And I feel like I'll have to get the trailer if I did get it. I, yeah. 
I, I want the trailer for the accessories, but not for the trailer itself. And I'm not paying like a hundred dollars for this trailer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking it in my head. If anybody is getting the trailer, let us know and let us know why. Talk me into getting it or talk me out of getting it, please. Yeah. Um, don't bother with me because I'm not picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy <laughs> <laughs> so um that's all we have for you let us know if you're picking up anything for black friday and bobby what should they be doing oh please 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 we're almost at that 1000 subscriber mark that we set as a goal so please subscribe if you haven't already uh please like the video share the video as james said post any comments but also click that little bell again if you haven't already, so you know when we other when we uh, when we also post other videos that you may find interesting, and maybe you don't find them interesting, but it really helps the channel out. So we really appreciate it. I think I covered it with everything. Even if you I did, you did. You, you're there. so excited for some of the videos we have coming out that you're all tongue tied, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah. It's going to get really, really interesting, really fast. Yes. Mm hmm. I think so, too. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you later. All right. As always, till all debates are won.